Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Brant Life. We're kicking off our sixth season. Count them six. I'm sure you have watched every episode with bated breath, including this one. It's great to be back here in my fake living room. I had to spend the summer in my real living room, but this, this is really where I want to be. Great guests, lots of great stuff coming up this season. We're going to kick it off with Vicki Spadoni from Autism Dog Services. Great to have you here, Vicki. Oh, thanks, Dave. It's nice to be here. Yeah, and who do we have here? Who do we've got down here? We have uh, Henry here, and he is a certified service dog. Uh, from Autism Dog Services, and he's actually on trial right now with me as the next ADS ambassador dog, and he also supports my son. Tell me a little bit about what Autism Dog Services is, because you, you, you said to me a, m a moment ago, we need to be able to increase the people training dogs because yeah. we're in a crisis. Where did this yeah. begin? To, how we, did this start? We really are. COVID, we had a really flux of um, volunteer applications, and uh, increased puppy raisers because we don't have a facility. We're 80% volunteer run and our puppy raisers actually take these dogs in at eight weeks old and along with my training staff train the dogs to be a working autism service dog. And now that COVID is kind of clearing out, we're really, really finding that the volunteer support is diminishing mm -hmm. and the ones we have, we are overworking and and over taxing and I, I know I know that I recognize that so we've just recently actually expanded to offering a daytime uh, puppy in training <coughs> class not far from here actually at yes church I'll plug them they've given us some space and we're looking for puppy raisers from the area um, to join us wow yeah so so tell me your, your personal story. You said that Henry helps support your son. Yeah. This is, yeah. This is a personal thing for you. Y yeah, it is. I've been executive director now um, since 2017. I started with them in 2016. And I honestly, it's overwhelming to me how much these dogs can help a child with autism. And mm -hmm. we're more than just autism. We're developmental disorders. So fetal alcohol syndrome, Down syndrome, Rett syndrome. And the bond that is shared between even already with Henry and my son is amazing. Mm. And they walk together. My son feeds him, takes responsibility, has a best buddy, which unfortunately, Dave, doesn't always happen to mm -hmm. those kiddos, right? And so the companionship, the independence, the responsibility. And first and foremost, we train these dogs to provide safety. So um, our dogs can be tethered from their jackets right around the child's waist and parents have the peace of mind that the child's not going to bolt out mm -hmm. into traffic and get hurt or worse. So when I say these dogs save lives, I really truly do mean it. If somebody signs up to be a dog trainer, what's what happens then? Like what do they what, what do you do? Yeah, they they can sign <coughs> up. My volunteer manager will be in touch with them right away. We will do an initial screening over the phone. And then we do do a home visit just so that we can be assured and help the homeowner figure out, you know, how to puppy proof, mm. how to doggy proof. And people can come into our, our puppy raiser program at any stage. If they don't want an eight week old puppy, because a lot of, there are a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. um, we understand <coughs> that. And so maybe we can swap out an older dog and give that raiser of okay. the older dog the new puppy because they, they thrive on, on the younger puppy. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, no, everything's done. We provide everything, the food, the equipment, um, the crates, the veterinary costs are all covered by ADS. So we really are hoping that, um, especially in the Brantford area, we really want to expand here because we do have children waiting on the wait list currently. I was on a uh, flight recently and on our flight there were four support dogs. Uh, and uh, they, they didn't have a, uh, a, a well-labeled uh, branding on it, so I wasn't exactly sure, yeah. you know, what the different what the different reasonings were. But that's so different than it once was. What is it about yeah. a dog and a person who needs comfort? That what is it about that relationship? Well, you know, a lot of dogs want to work, and they're not meant to be family pets. And so our puppies are all like trained to be working dogs. And there's mm -hmm. rules and restrictions around that and difference in training. Um, but more and more people are suffering from different ailments, yeah. right? Um, anxiety, mental health. And so more and more people are realizing that, you know, a dog or a pet can yeah. help them. 
Okay, well, uh, amazing work that you're doing. <laughs> AutismDogServices.ca. Uh, coming up, you have some fundraisers, the, uh, the October Halloween Pop party print campaigns party. running throughout September. Yep. And so people, I'm sure, can find out on your social medias and, and your website uh, the details on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, incredible work you're doing. Thank you so much oh, for being on Brain Life today. Thank you. More great people, more great stories coming up right after this on Brain Life.